Hey, it's Mr. One Two Three here. Um, we're gonna learn how to make a noob trap with the wire mod. All right, so we want to go to Premium, the Phoenix Storms from Premium Model Pack. Spawn a panel. Use Shift D to lock it on. Gonna push it up against the wall just to make it easier. All right, now I'm gonna do all the gates at once. But first, we're gonna need it. simple explosives. I have a wooden crate. Doesn't matter what you have it at. Freeze. Well, do blast damage. Uh, trigger value one. Damage 200. Blast radius doesn't really matter. Just don't make it too high. All right. So let's put this on. All right. Now we need a target finder. Okay. I'm gonna set the maximum range to something just really high. Uh, target players, target NPCs. And that should be good. Alright, so let's put that. Now we need a beacon sensor. Uh, let's just have output distance. That's all we need for this. Alright, so now let's do all the gates at once so it'll make wiring easier. We need a floor round down. We need a subtract. And we need an accumulator. Now, what this will do is it'll make a countdown function. I will have. Oh, we also need a constant value chip. Now we just need three, three values. We need, we need the value five. We need the value one twenty. Actually, we just need two values. All right, and that's it. Let's put that right there. Now what it's going to do is we're going to have our accumulator start, we're going to subtract 5 by the accumulator, which will make as the accumulator goes up, it'll, the value will go down, making our time. Alright, so now let's go to our gates back again. Now we need some comparison gates. So let's have a greater than, we need a less than or equal to, and we need an equal. Now we need a screen. We want our A value to distance, our B value to time. And I'm going to use a monitor big. You can use whatever you like. I'm using Shift D to lock it. Okay, now it's wired up a bit. Alright, so first off, we need a wire our beacon sensor to there. See now it shows distance. Alright, good. Alright, actually I forgot to get we need another floor round down. And we're gonna put it right there. Now the f the round downs, uh that's gonna make it so there's no decimals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select floor round down and put that to our beacon sensor. Now what we have is, as you see, it's the same as the beacon sensor's output distance, but it's rounded off so there's no decimals. So that's going to be our A value on our screen. So let's put that to the floor and down. There, now it shows the distance. Alright, great. Now let's wire up our timer. Okay, so we need to subtract the value 5 by... Accumulator. Alright, so now it's five. As this runs, that will go lower, setting your time. Now we're going to get rid of decimals again by using the other round down. We're going to attach that to our subtract. Now it also has five. And that's going to be our B value. There, now it shows the time. Alright, perfect. Now we need to have it so the timer starts. We're going to use a less than gate. Uh, we already have one. Alright, let's see. Less than. Alright. So we're gonna wire it to our uh to our round down gate. So let's wire it to there. So that's A is the round down. And B is gonna be our value. It's gonna be value 120. So basically this is saying if I am closer than 120 units, it's uh turns value to one. Alright, see now it's zero. Now I'm less than 120, 
so it's one. And that will start our timer. So we need to go uh, select the accumulator's A value and go over to the less than. All right, see now it starts. Get out of 120, it stops. Now we need to reset it. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our greater than. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did with the accumulator, uh, with the less than gate. We're gonna put it to our floor round down. And then we're gonna put it to our value chip. And put it to 120. So basically what this is gonna do is when I'm greater than uh, 120 units, which I am, see now it's zero, it will activate. So now we're gonna go to reset go up and add that to the greater than see now it resets now the timer will keep on going past zero as it is so we need a hold time which is right there so we're going to use equal to so what we need to do is put this on the floor round down so a value for equal to goes to floor round down and then actually let's update our constant value we do need three and our third value is going to be zero. Third value is zero. There we go. Okay, so now let's wire them up. So equal to our first value is already to our floor round now, so I didn't need to do that. So, alright. So let's just go to our B value. Our B value will go to our value chip and it will be zero. So it's saying if it equals zero, which it does not, so it should be zero. All right, now let's go to hold. Hold. All right, now I'll count down to zero and it will stop. Okay, and it does. Let me just fix the values really quick. I don't know what I did. I like neat wiring. So you know I'm using auto snap uh, for the grid right here to make neat wiring. Alright, so now we just need to rig up the explosion. So we're going to put detonate on when it equals zero. Alright, so now it'll detonate when I go in to uh, when it counts down to zero. Timer started, goes, but we don't want it to blow up quite yet. So we're going to go up to our indicator. I'm using green to red, so value 0 to 1, siren model. Now, for a cool little effect, a fading effect, I'm going to put this to, we're going to wire this, the A value, to the accumulator. It'll make a fading effect. Now we're going to blow ourselves up. See, it fades to red, counts down. When it hits 0, I will blow up. And I did. Okay, perfect. Alright, see now that we made that that's our new crap we can go over here as you see I made a little sand here a little X uh, you can customize it as much as you want but that concludes our tutorial hope you learned something out of this thanks for your time